We start off without a song. Hello, welcome back to the translation of Animal with Scaly Wings. In case you don't know, at the top there... I don't want to move this screen, because that's stupid, but here you go. Yeah, fucking 4-4, four, four, huh? 4 fucking 4 Sorry if that's a little too many too many baby swears for all you... I don't know, maybe just don't like swears. Ah, uh, I should pull out the re but we're mostly going to be looking at this today. Because this is also kind of a, a, an insight into the game. You rarely get those. Very rare for someone to get... <coughs> really get into the meat and potatoes of a game like this. And I like it. It makes me go goo. Ooh. Ooh. I like it. So, the loss is displayed when? Let's check out the card for loss. I think there's anything like character graphics? No, not here. Extra? I think it's extra. Uh, loss. Loss. Oh no, Maverick, you died. I think, yeah, you gotta get a bad ending. So, character's <sighs> plus one. Uh, okay, so this is a display lost, this is display Remy. So I assume which display is the card of the character you're gonna lose. The Lorem status is none, the Lorem status is abandoned. Okay. Yeah, okay, here it sets Lorem to dead. So this is the point where Lorem dies. If you have no relationship with him, uh, you have a bad relationship where you abandon him, Lorem just fucking often dies. At this point, Anna is probably. Yeah, if she doesn't survive, she's already dead, so it doesn't matter at all. If Remy status is bad, he doesn't dead yet. That's weird. Um, it's kind of interesting that Anna survives all you need. She could be alive and still doesn't matter. For, at least for the card. I can't remember if it's for the card specifically. Bryce ending. Oh my god, that's awesome. Okay, so if you don't have all the keys and Bryce has died, it still says no, because Bryce is still going to die because you don't have the keys and thus can't undo it. If total investigation is less than five, oh, over six. Okay, so if you haven't done good enough for the investigations, it also counts against you. That's cool. Uh, Adine's status is bad, because this is the point where she dies. She's not dead yet, it seems. Adine loss, if Adine too unplayed. What's this mean? Why is this here? Okay, the MPs are all up here. But this is kind of weird. Like, why is the second unplayed date so important? Oh, so if you've only seen her, like, once. Okay, that's only seen her once. Mm, so that's how you get loss. Play sound chapter four because as it's a funny thing about the the sound effects that you probably haven't noticed. You may have noticed it. I didn't notice it on my first go through. It was really something I noticed later down the line. Um, is the chapter noises make more beats as they they make as many beats as the chapter number, which is a cool little detail. Okay, there we go into the chapter. We got a whole bunch of cards. So we don't know any of them. Um, persistent true endings. If you get the true ending, it's forced to show this one. Uh, slight different with this card one. I wonder if. I wonder if the creator actually knows programming a bit, and just found limitations of the engine. Because if you know programming, you know that a lot of the stuff we've come across over the over the many chapters, some of it is just big faux pas, like big, why would you ever want to do it like that? For example, the unplayed things. Um, persistent, true ending is true. I'm still sick, by the way, in case you haven't noticed. Um, true ending, okay. If it's true, selectable. So if you can get the true ending, you've also reached enlightenment. Uh, card is displayed. What the hell is going on here? If there's still no card, uh, and it won't display anyone. Wait, what? Wait then. Okay, so if it won't, just okay. So no, no one has gotten the loss ending. Okay, so if you don't have loss, you get hope. Okay. Um, then what's the dis difference, display price? Display... Oh, wow, okay, so if you fucked over everyone, you get pride. That makes sense. Um, so you can always get hope, I guess. It's, it's assumed that if you haven't, if you've made at least one person die, you get that. So hope is, you've been a nice guy, everyone's alive. Anna's not dead, you're doing good. Um, cards displayed, false. I'll be honest, though, something is... Something about the game in general, like the feeling and the, the pacing and everything, is very inconsistent over time. And it's something that bothers me a lot, and it's something that I come back to in this moment of, of quiet. <laughs> Display characters. So, does this go up? Okay, so that goes up. So, if no card has been displayed, and a bunch of people are going to die, it's going to say, okay, the last card is lost. Okay, and if, no, if less than three people are involved, it will look up a specific character and display that one. That's interesting. Okay, okay, yeah, because then you've, you've probably got pride. You need to get, to get pr you can probably have pride. Uh, so this is still loss. <coughs> so it says loss of passion. So it basically tells you your status and characters. It tells you, okay, you, you've done very good or you've done very bad. 
I'll be honest, this is such a different experience from playing the game. Even though it's essentially the same text, the fact that the music isn't necessarily playing, the characters aren't on screen, I have to think about things very differently. It's been a very unique experience. Uh, play sound loop. What is this? What is this sound loop? Uh... Some sort of ambient track, it seems. Interesting they didn't play it. Oh, I get it. It's like... Okay, so this is weird, because this is still just logic. This isn't like anything being shown. Oh, well, it's the card, I guess. If last card is enlightenment, if last card is enlightenment, okay, so this is just if, what card are we going to show? And the card it shows mostly depends on... Interesting. So... It's got nothing for the good part, so if you do well, all you get is hope? Huh. So that's it. The uh, the only logic here is the logic for you fucking up. Hmm. So display lorem shows view none. Okay. That's the only time it comes up. Okay. So <coughs> the only way to get a character card is to fuck up. Does duty show up at all here? No. None at all. Interesting. Okay. Where's the sound loop? Okay, now it plays sound loop. Okay, I can imagine that. There might have some problems with it making it work. Gaming is good as navigation. The abandoned script needs two cases. Okay, we're still going through some cases. Uh, two, where in one where in two was played good and three was skipped. Okay. Okay, so this just logically assumes. Okay, so abandoned takes this long? I thought it was just one chapter. I've got a Dean specifically that's mentioned here. I imagine this was like the first case they did, and we're like, how does this work? Fun fact. This is much easier to do than this makes it look. There are ways to optimize this into infinity. I don't want to think about this right now because I'm sick. But I can assure you, there is a reason binary numbers are the fucking bomb they are. Um, and that sounds kind of weird, but fun fact. You can do a lot. If you're willing to sit and look at a binary number and deal with modulo, for fuck's sake, holy crap, can you pull off some great-ass shit? Man! You can make, comp you, like, what you're essentially making is, a, is, a, is an array of booleans, which is hilarious that that exists at all. But yeah. But fucking yeah. But yeah. Uh, yeah. That array of booleans is something you can do. But it's not as efficient as this. I mean, this just gives you a lot of this. Uh, like, in the code, it looks weird. But I guess if you try to do it on an array or an actual binary, you're going to end up with a lot of, like, what the hell am I looking at? This looks really good. So if it ain't status, is good. <coughs> and you didn't pick it. Oh, I see what the problem is. It has to do with how the code is being handled. Okay, so you need to make all these unique things. There are probably better ways to do this. Like, um, you can make a timer. You can make a timer for every character. And every chapter of the timer goes up one, and there's a digit that keeps track of when you last saw them. I don't know. Is that simpler? Is that easier to do? I don't know. Um, so if Adin is good, and you picked Adin, and you picked Adin, then it's like, no, and if you picked Adin, okay. If you picked around the third. For some reason, it makes this distinct. I assume it's because of how the picking system works. If not, she's okay. Okay, so you can't just date two people and get them both good and keep them all the way to the end, which is kind of weird. Um, pick a dean, if you pick the dean, if you pick the dean, okay. So the specific conditions here are you pick the dean on chapter two, either on A or B, and then you're continued. Okay, so if your dean's good, and okay, this is Anna's, basically the same thing. These are all just the same logic gate. Wait, 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 one, one tiny thing that, that suddenly sprung to my brain. Did Chapter 2 have this? This had all, like, the evil parts, but I don't remember, like, the... Yeah, I don't remember the... I don't remember the abandoning being kept track of here. Oh, because it's Chapter 3 when it starts. Whoops. Whoopsie snickerdoodles. Here the logic was a lot simpler, so I must have looked over it. Yeah. Yeah, this is all there is, okay. So you've heard it, Ian. Okay. Weird that it does this. Does it do that here, too? Let's get rid of some of these. Um, Does it call them unheard here, too? Nope. Nope, they're just your status is... Mm, interesting. That's very strange that it would do it like that. Very strange. And then finally we get here. It's a very spooky thought to have. But let's uh, get back to RPA 2 Master. 
Wait, fuck. Oh, man. Oh, no. No, I don't want to go there. No. I want to... Can I... Can I just see my goddamn... Frame? Yeah, where's my frame? Where's my... Goddamn... I want to... Bandicam. Bandicam. Where, where did it go, Bandicam? So, I have it on, like... Always remember the location, and it still doesn't do that. Jesus, just don't. Just, oh, man. <sighs> Why is that there? That's a weird glitch to have. Although, it's been having weird glitches in general, like a couple of parts where the program just explodes. I don't know why it specifically mentions the wallpaper on the ceiling. I've been really training my memory lately. In a, in a sense, it's really hard to do that when I'm sick. Fuck! I just don't like this! It's like, the sickness sticks around, but it's not bad, and it's like, oh, I'm super... It's, God damn it! Just either be terrible and be fast, or don't be there at all. I don't know. Ah. <laughs> the important thing to remember, by the way, is that a good way to keep your writing interesting is to vary sentence lengths. Um, make short ones, long runs, make quick statements, and then surround them with more esoteric talk. Like... It's really interesting to start a sentence with, like, it's a room, and then start with a very long description of what the room is, and then end it with a sort of semi-brief statement. Like, it makes the writing very organic. It's not organic to have same structures with similar concepts behind them. Like, if you constantly use the same structure, like, I got ready, I ate cheese, that gets boring fast. Vary it up a bit, throw some pepper and spice in there, but don't make it too spicy. Like, sometimes have a moment where it's just flat, and, and use that, that inorganic flatness to your advantage. I'm just saying, there's more to video games than you think there is. Such as writing. There's a lot of writing. It's interesting how every single time, every morning you wake up with more on this. I understand why. The main plot thinks, like, here's the thing to consider, is, I don't think it ever establishes how long you actually are here. It's implied there's a certain amount of days between every main chapter event, and as such, it makes sense that the time... Like, the one thing that annoys me is, it's now only mentioned that Sebastian has consistently shown up every single day, and... <coughs> that's especially weird because at some point it's like, Sebastian is gone, and then it never clears it up again. It's, it's weird. <sighs> Man, I don't, I don't feel good. I don't like any of this videogram. The problem is clockwork doesn't work. That's a. That's that he smiles. Like, again, Sebastian feels like he would make a much better date character than Lorm. Because Adine shows up a bunch of times, Lorm mostly seems to fade into existence. Which is weird, because you think with Lorm's, like, specifications, wouldn't he be made? Like, here's the thing to consider is, the way Lorm is written, and the way he exists within the game world, wouldn't it be more logical if Lorm was the one to make this delivery? Like, why is this Sebastian? When it would have been more interesting if Lorm shows up, and then Sebastian shows up, and Lorm's, Lorm's like, okay, I'll see you later then. 
And then later, during a date, Lorem's like, what was that about? And you're like, ah, nothing. Don't worry about it. You know, <coughs> that'd, be, that'd be cool. <laughs> and it does that with a few things, with Dean, but like not with Lorem, for some reason. Yeah, like, this this bothers the shit out of me. This bothers the shit out of me. I'm going to mention that in the chat right now. Oh. Like, think about the context. Think about the context. Like, imagine the, the, the weirdness of this. <coughs> like, I understand there's some limitations, and they probably couldn't agree on something, I don't know. But if I had a finny on this, and I knew about this, I would have done it. Like, if only just the idea that she came... Like, that's also a way to put a character in. Like, I don't know how do I put this? Like, if if I had a finny on this, and I would have made her just show up out of the blue, no reason. She's just there because that's how she is. She's like, I want to just want to see you today. And then Sebastian's like, you can't. And she's like, okay. But it's only if you like in good terms. Otherwise, you skip a whole scene. Like that's good. That's good. It's like that's fun writing. Is you see Lorem at when you're on good terms, you see him, and he's like, hey, and you have a little scene with him. You have a little hi moment. And I feel that this is so focused on the big dates, and so little focused on things that happen intermediately, where you just kind of see each other. Mm. Like, it would have been kind of cool if, if with with Anna, you, like, see her during breakfast sometimes. Like, ah. <sighs> they don't. The results have nothing to do with anything. Also, Anna doesn't get anything major out of the test she does. What she gets is interesting, yes, but there's a lot more you can get out of a... No, I guess she does take samples, doesn't she? Does she? Hmm. Still. I <laughs> Sebastian. He's <laughs> just fucking standing there during this. Like, if that was a Finia, she'd be, like, intermittently saying, Hey, like, before you even get to do anything. And also, he does a throat clear. Here's the thing that bothers me is... A throat clear is something you need a certain type of throat for. I know that's, like... <clears throat> Actually, that might actually be a letter, so they probably could... Hmm, questions. But it's fun to think about, like, what my character will be doing. The reason that's fun is it helps you realize why certain decisions were made and how certain characters interact with the world around them, and opportunities that certain other types of characters could have been in there. Because again, Lorem's a mailman. He logically would be in the situation and he'd be doing stuff, but he doesn't get that moment for some reason. Maybe there's, like, restrictions on, like, what characters could do, but considering how much of bullshit Lorem's been able to pull in terms of I get to talk about the way the world works for no reason that doesn't matter to anyone at all. I wonder what would have happened with that. Like, would that have still been in there, or would someone else have done it? I don't know. I don't know. I'd love to know. Like, again, I want to see the alternate world in which either Ophinia is a dateable character and Lorem isn't, or, or just the Lorem isn't, because I want to see what would have happened if there was no other major character to fill that slot. Like, without Lorem, who, like, Sebastian would have had a bigger role. Would Sebastian have been a terrible character? Mm. Would he have picked someone that he knew? I don't know. Mm. I love this alternate world. I want this alternate world just for my, to sink my curiosity. Because that's the fun thing about Kickstarters, when people get this deeply involved, is you end up with an alternate world, an alternate possibility space, and you can all you can do is think about it. Oh. If an alternate dimension me ever figures out how to travel between dimensions, this is this is the one. This is the bit of information I'm gonna send first. It's like this is what our this is what everything looks like, and they're gonna be like, oh, video games, and I'm gonna say the same thing because I'm looking at theirs. Yeah. It's weird that it mentions the specifics on how you get the results. It's kind of weird to me. <laughs> Is 
the sound changed at all? Like, I know that music changed a lot more in these, uh, settings. We're at a... We're at a jump skip, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep to this. Because, no, that's not a thing I do much, but... This is a change of bass. <coughs> I don't feel 100%. <coughs> and this was fun, just looking at some other things. Okay, so what exactly are we dealing with? Is this a... Okay, this is a skip ahead a bit moment. Where you at, system? I like how system gets, it's good, it gets to be one of those unique characters that only has one letter. Bit. None. There's none bits here. Hmm. Does chapter 2 have bits? No. I think I'd consistently use the same term. Like, I, I know that using a, th a thesaurus to write your book is not a great idea. To some extent, you want to... <clears throat> you want to, uh... You want to use uh, consistent words. But at the same time, I can't help but feel that... The, this particular game uses a lot of the same terminology a lot. It's like, I get, I, 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 uh, okay, and I get it, and, and interesting. It, it, it uses certain terms that I feel would have worked better if they were swapped up a bit, at least for different characters. I have a name, you know. Like, look at this! It's so much more grounded in what it's trying to say, and it's... Now the alt scene. This is hilarious this exists at all. It's interesting that he has that he feels the need to mention that specifically. <sighs> Which ones do the skipping ahead a bit thing? I don't know which ones to do it, but I want to keep things consistently. Consistent. I don't think that one does. I think Remy 3 does? Yeah, 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 this one does, this one does, okay. This song is nice. This song is also pretty good. This is the part that gets me a lot, is a lot of this is cobbled together. Uh, say what you want, but this game essentially had to cobble together a lot of its assets, and I understand why. It, assets are expensive. Um, people underestimate how much it costs to get music or art made, and if you want good art and you want good music, you're gonna have to pay someone. You can't just say exposure. Fun fact, that's a shit move, and no one is gonna accept that nowadays. Unless you've got a good plan, or they're, like, part of your business invention, and they're gonna get, like, royalties or part of your money, and you've got, like, a good business plan, or you got a Kickstarter going, they're not gonna give a shit, because they're still getting paid. Which is ironic. I'm like, this is a solution that requires you not paying. No, you still have to pay. There's no ironic issue. Always pay your artist, or they'll draw dicks on things. <laughs> it's a fair thing to do, kids. <sighs> so next time, <coughs> interesting that she doesn't doesn't show up when she when she's not working. That's not how a witness protection works, by the way. You don't just protect someone just because she's working. I don't know. Next time, yeah. Um, this scene is very fast. Holy shit, is it fast? Um. He's like, someone is... Another person's been killed. At this point, it just feels weird. Um, interestingly enough, if he had not killed anyone in the facility, this is the point where he is designated as a serial killer. Um, yeah, this is not the point. Okay, it takes a long while to get there. Actually, not. Does it? There's a lot going on here. But the actual Bryce... I thought this moved a lot faster than this, but it doesn't. Okay. Next time... I'm still sick. <laughs> Probably. I had a fun uh, Starfinder session. I got some good feedback. I, I realized a couple of errors of my ways, which ironically are errors that someone else also made. From like, fuck you. Um, I'm gonna play some here today. Maybe I'll do some more Valley. I don't know. I don't care. I don't think anyone cares. I don't think I care. Blah. I did some good art today, so at least I got a good art in my pocket today. It could have been a worse day, and it's not even two o'clock. Wow. Wow. As Wario would say. <laughs>